Okay, so in this video, we're going to use the expected value to look at a fairground or a circus game. Uh, just kind of see how they're going to ask it in an exam. It's going to be similar to this. So again, I left the formula up here. The expected value <clears throat> is equal to the sum of the values times the probabilities. So in a fairground or circus game, you have to spin the wheel and then you get the amount of money that is shown. So here's the wheel here on the right. 10 euro, 0 euro, 20 euro and 5 euro. So depending what the spinner lands on, that's how much money you get. So you have to pay to play the game. Uh, and if you have to pay 5 euro, what is the expected value? And if you have to pay 10 euro, what is the expected value? Um, yeah, so it's going to be different for each of these cases. We want to see if we're going to make money or lose money, depending how much you have to pay. So I will scroll down to make some space. Uh, and I'm going to make out a little table here. So I'm just going to go prob value and then prob times value okay and let me just quickly do this it's not a straight line that'll do so the probability is going to say one over four one over four one over four and one over four so add one over four um and that's because it's you're equally likely to get each of the outcomes here so you're equally likely to get 10 euro Ooh, i'll just redo that you're equally likely to get 10 euro, 0 euro, 20 euro, and 5 euro. So I'll change color just to blue for this. So the value, the probability, will just start with zero here. So we're going to say you have a, um, a one quarter percent chance or 25 percent chance of getting zero euro. You have a um, one quarter percent chance of getting 10 euro, one quarter percent chance of getting 5 euro, and one quarter percent chance of getting 20 euro. It doesn't really matter the order you do these in. So now the probability times the value is our next thing. This is going to be zero because zero times anything is zero. Um, this is going to be 2.5. This is going to be 1.25. And then we need 1.25. And this is just going to be five. Okay, so that's when you multiply 20 by one quarter, five by one quarter, 10 by one quarter, and zero by one quarter. So our total here, if we add all of these together, we will get 8.75. So wait, this isn't the expected value just yet, because in each case we have to pay either five euro up here or 10 euro, like it says. Um, so we need to factor that in. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit more. So in case one, we'll say over here, you have to pay five euro, and then we get 8.75 every single time. So what we're getting is we're getting 8.75 minus five euro, because every single time we get on average, so remember you can't get 8.75 in this game, but on average, we will get 8.75 back every single time, even though you're gonna get zero, 10, 20, or five. Um, so that's how the expected value works. So 8.75 minus five, and on average, we're gonna get 3.75 every single time we play the game. So hopefully that makes sense that on average, you're getting 8.75 back. You have to give five euro every single time without fail. And so on average, your expected value, let's write that EV is plus 3.75, okay? So in this case, it's a good game and you would want to play it because you'd be making money. If, for example, we have to pay 10 euro, then we're gonna have 8.75, which is what we get back every time, minus 10 euro, which is what we have to pay every time, and that'll leave us with minus 1.25, and that's our expected value. So in this case, it wouldn't be a good game to play. It'd be a good game for the circus owner, but not for ourselves. So that's the kind of basic idea behind expected value. And um, don't forget about having to pay. So sometimes they'll factor that in and you just have to minus that from the uh, total of the probabilities and the values, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. You can kind of think about it in your head that you, oh, you know, minus five every time because you have to pay it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that, that's the sort of question you're gonna find on the leading cert for expected value. So hopefully that all makes sense. In the next video, we're gonna look at Bernoulli trials or the binomial distribution. Uh, it's two words for the same thing. Um, probably better known as Bernoulli trials. But anyway, again, that's expected value done. Uh, you have to learn this formula off because it won't be in the formula book. Um, and yeah, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos with friends if you find them helpful.